Hello everyone, welcome back to Forex Signals TV. I'm Shane Vernier, analyst over at ForexSignals.com. Now, if you've done any time, any amount of time in the markets at all, you know that there is a plethora of technical tools and indicators and systems out there just waiting for your attention and begging for you to spend money on. Well, today we're gonna talk a little bit about one of the easiest, most intuitive technical indicators out there, and it's called the Parabolic SAR. Now, don't let that name fool you. It's not as complicated as you think. So let's take a dive into the Parabolic SAR. Let's talk about how you can incorporate it into your trading strategy, and perhaps it may be just the kind of technical indicator that you're looking for. So what is the Parabolic SAR? The Parabolic SAR is a technical indicator. It was developed by Wells Wilder Jr. back in the late 70s, early 1980s. What does SAR stand for? Stop in reverse. Very simple indicator. Don't let this thing scare you off because it's got an interesting name. Parabolic SAR just means a parabolic stop and reverse. More about that in just a second. So what is the form and function of the SAR? It's used to determine trend direction and possible reversal points. Uh, when we go to the charts, you'll see exactly what we're talking about there. It appears as a series of dots. Uh, very, very obvious. We don't have to do any gymnastics at all. It's visually apparent. And lastly, it can help you identify market entry points and market exit points. You can use it at a trend following capacity, or you could use it in a reversal type of a trading methodology. Uh, the biggest thing to remember with the SAR is that it's easy. It's intuitive. We don't have to work very hard at all when we're, we're using this indicator. We put it on our charts as an overlay. It tells us everything we need to know. It appears as a series of dots placed either below or above price bars. Now, if it's placed below the price bars, that indicates a bullish trend. That means price is rising over time, a series of higher highs or a series of higher lows. If it's placed above your price bars or your candlesticks for that matter, it suggests that there's a bearish trend in play. So you've got a series of lower highs or a series of lower lows. So it's a very simple indicator to use in order to give you the really the full gist and a more of a context on how to apply this thing in the open market. We got to get over to the pricing chart. So let's go. Okay, now that we're back in the trading lab, it's very, very simple to illustrate what the parabolic SAR is visually, what it means to us as active traders, and how exactly to trade it, and a few things to watch out for as you put this on your pricing charts. It will work on daily, weekly, monthly, all the way down to intraday charts, something as, as basic as a 30-minute or a 5-minute. There's just a few caveats and things that you need to be aware of when you're using this indicator in the live market. Okay. The first thing is, is it's a public domain indicator, which means it's more than likely going to be available on your charting package or your analytics package. This is a basic look at how to apply the indicator on TradingView. It's going to be a little bit different on your MT4 or your MT5. You just need to go to those public domain indicators, select Parabolic SAR from the list, and it will appear as a charting overlay. So right here on TradingView, you're going to go to indicators and you're going to cursor down until you find Parabolic SAR. There it is right there on the chart. You're going to click on it and you'll see it appears visually. It's obvious. It's just an overlay. All it is is a series of dots above price action or a series of dots below price action. They signify a trend. Above price action is your downtrend. Below price action is your uptrend in price. It's going to vary. Different The, the, the size of the trends and the directional moves will vary according to market state, asset being traded, and time frame of your charts. So let's go right here. Take a look at how to trade this. How to trade this is very simple. It is no more difficult than clicking on the parabolic SAR from your drop-down list of indicators and putting it on your charts. You'll notice right here, this, this series of dots beneath price action indicates that rising price is apparent. Well, when these dots jump price action, your indication is, is or your inclination will be to sell or buy accordingly. When you see the dots jump your price bars, you're going to have to sell the market or buy the market. That is the decision. So right here, more than likely you'd have been on the long position. This would have changed your mind. As soon as the dots jump price bars, you're looking to sell somewhere up in here. Maybe you need a confirmation bar to get in. Likewise, it's the same type of mechanism towards the bottom of the range. As soon as these dots begin to jump their bars or they jump the pricing candles themselves, that means market state's shifting. So instead of being in a live sell, we're going to be looking to get long and try to capitalize on that bullish price action. A couple of things that we, we need to point out, though. Here's an Australian dollar one minute chart. And as we're taking a look at this, this type of pattern, this type of, of, of periodicity, what is apparent? Frequent jumps. You can see right here, boom, price is jumping back and forth up above, below price bars, really with, with a massive frequency. This can cause a number of different problems. Uh, first and foremost, we can get just chopped to death by the whipsaw price action. 
You can run into a situation where, hey, I'm still long. Oh, no, now I'm short. Now I'm still long. I'm short. I'm long. I'm short. I'm long. You're not only cutting off winning short positions and winning long positions, but you're cutting off. Number one, you're making way too many trades. So the idea here is you're making too many trades in whipsaw conditions, and more than likely you're going to, going to lose money over the long run doing this. What does this? What happens on whipsaw markets? The parabolic SAR is going to give you an abundance of false signals on shorter time frames. It's going to tell you to stay in trades you shouldn't be in, or you get out of trades that you should be in. So remember that the number one caveat to using this indicator is be sure that you dial in your periodicity. On a Forex pair, I'd be looking at something like a four hour, or a daily, or maybe even a weekly chart. For stocks, maybe you want to be an investor and you want to be looking at weekly or monthly charts using this, uh, this methodology. Maybe on something as active as crude oil on an intraday basis, you want to be using a five minute or, or a 30 minute chart, something like that. So be sure that you understand your market. Be sure you understand market state. And more importantly, be sure that you're, you understand when the market tightens, when price gets crazy, and we see that on small periodicities, the reliability of this indicator drops exponentially. That would be the main caveat. All right, let's take a look at a couple of the other key points that we need to recognize and realize before we actually start trading this indicator. Okay, one of the biggest things that active traders do that really is wrong is they get overwhelmed with technical data. They add 50 indicators to their charts and they say, oh, this is too complex for me to actually trade in the live markets. The parabolic SAR is one of the easiest indicators out there. If the dots are above price, you sell. If the dots are beneath price, you buy. Now, one of the best things about the SAR is you can use it with alongside really any other technical indicator. You could use it with Bollinger Bands, moving averages, really whatever you're fancy. It was developed by Wells Wilder Jr. who also developed RSI. So maybe you wanna use the parabolic SAR alongside RSI. Really the choice is yours. But the number one biggest thing that you need to remember and what you need to do to trade this indicator profitably is always manage your risk and reward. Now whether you wanna apply a static risk versus reward ratio or if you wanna use set profit targets and moving stop losses, that choice is yours, but always remember the payoff, the potential payoff has to justify your initial risk. Just like any system out there, any indicator, if you go in with a big risk and a small potential reward, you're going to lose money over the long haul. We've covered a lot of that, those strategies in videos past, so feel free to review the catalog. In any case, I'd like to say I'm glad to be here. I like, I like making these videos for folks. We get a lot of great feedback. We also get some great criticism. Uh, you know I don't mind. Just be sure that you leave us what you think beneath and check us out on the socials. Also, if you like what we're doing here, hit the subscribe button and you'll get an email blast anytime we make a move here at Forex Signals TV. So for myself and all the other team, the behind the scenes team here at Forex Signals, trade the action well and we'll talk soon. See ya.